Yeah, I, you know, I think that's basically right. Um, I think that one of the things, step back, one of the things we've tried to do is not get into policy debates because that's very, you know, uh, you head very easily and, and you can really get, go down a rabbit hole in a hurry. So what we've tried to do is stay ahead of the policy debates and talk about theory, talk about um, how do you think about these sorts of issues from a biblical perspective. One of the things we've been very um, fixated almost on is making sure that we tie everything back to what the scripture says. We have no authority in this. All the authority comes from the scripture. So we want to make sure all of our stuff is based on a theological uh, understanding, strong theological underpinning of, of what the scripture says. One of the real problems you have, particularly once you get into the field where you've got people who aren't necessarily theologians uh, writing about this stuff, is they just find a Bible verse that they like, paste it completely out of context alongside something else. So that's something you got to be very careful about. There's a lot of that being done. So I think you have to go back. What's, what's the verse that you're talking about contextually? How does that fit into what the scripture is saying? How does it fit into this overarching understanding? Because what we believe is that when God created the heavens and the earth, he took these principles and wove them into the very fabric of creation. These principles are like gravity. They work if you believe in them or not, right? Let me give you an example. Uh, thou shalt not steal. That implies what? It implies property rights. Well, property rights is a principle that God's woven into the very fabric of creation. And, and there's a reason there's never been a civilization that lasted very long and flourished for very long without strong property rights. Why? It's the way God made things, right? And so it behooves us to understand what those bigger pieces are and embrace them and use them and when we build our business.